Come on, church. <laughs> oh, it's that time of the day again. Hallelujah. Come on, we've come to, de to declare that the Lord our God is a good God. Ain't he good? Ain't he all right? Ain't the Lord all right? Come on, get your sanctified moment in. Amen. To give him a praise for all that he has done. Amen. All that we know he's going to do. And everything the Lord has promised that he shall do on our behalf. Aren't you glad? Amen. To be once more and again in the land of the living. To enjoy uh, the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I see y'all coming in. Amen. Alona, I see you, Tony. Amen. Good to have you guys on board early. Amen. For our midday march on to Zion. Amen. So much goes on in the body of Christ. But the good news is that the Lord, amen, is watching over us. I want you to stay safe, uh, Ebenezer, Ebenezer Nation, amen. Stay uh, under the the, uh, the stay-at-home, uh, amen. They've opened some stuff, but, but to the degree possible, amen, keep yourself safe. The corona infection, amen, is still on the rise. The corona uh, uh, virus, COVID-19 death rate, uh, is continuing to 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 uh, accelerate. Uh, they're anticipating uh, by the fourth of July we might even be as high as 140,000 uh, people have lost their lives as a result of that. We it's it's always been praying time, Ebenezer, but we certainly need to ask the Lord's hand to intervene. Uh, Lord, come and see about your children, oh God. We need you now more than, than ever before. There are some things that are going on in our nation, amen, that we need you to come in and, and put a stop to, amen. Um, the country is changing. The whole nation is chanting, Black Lives Matter, matter amen, because it does. We're not devaluing any other uh, amen, race of people. We just want to just at this moment in our history, in this nation's history, amen, we have devalued uh, the lives of black people. All we want to do is just say, hey, hey, look at, hey, hey, here we are, amen. Please uh, uh, make sure you consider my life, put value on my life, my life value as much as others, amen. Not more than, but just as others. If you treat us the way everybody else is being treated, treated we're going to be all right. Amen. Amen. Nobody ought to be profiled. Nobody ought to be, ought to be, amen, singled out. Amen. No one ought to uh, uh, fear the police whenever they're pulled over, uh, that any sudden movement uh, 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 is, is a death sentence. Amen. And, and, and yet, uh, in New York, a, a, a cop still used an illegal chokehold. Uh, my, my goodness, what, what, is, what do we have to say? What does this nation has to do to get the attention of everybody? Amen. It, it's in their culture. Amen. And so our nationwide demands are reasonable. All we're asking for is, is new laws of police accountability. Amen. You put a person on suspension with pay. Amen. Uh, it ought to cost people something when they are, are, are in violation of standing rules and regulations. We want clear cut police, uh, 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 change in police attitudes, uh, in their behavior, in their culture, in their mindset, whatever it's going to take. Amen. For you police uh, uh, chiefs, and mayors to get the attention of your police officers, they cannot go around doing what they've done for the last 40, 50 years. All we, and, and certainly if they are bad actors in amidst your culture, in amidst your, your unions, amen, then we're talking about uh, to be prosecuted. Everyone ought to be prosecuted or fall under the threat of prosecution for police, police misconduct. How y'all doing? 
Amen. All the, all these are, are are mine. The opinions of the speaker uh, it does in no wise infringe on the church which he is a member of. All right. So if you're not if you're angry, call me. Amen. Amen. Our midday message. Amen. Our inspirational uh, thought for Monday, uh, the 22nd of June says a strong individual stands up for themselves. Strong individuals, a strong individual stand up for themselves. Um, a stronger individual stands up for others. And I wanted to uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, speak from the spiritual focus uh, to stand strong, stand strong. And uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm reminded in John chapter five, verse eight, uh, Jesus tells the impotent man at the pool of Bethesda, he says, rise or, or, or stand up, take up your bed and walk. One's ability to stand up is first predicated on possessing the necessary physical strength and dexterity to get up and then to remain upright. Secondly, possessing the requisite spiritual convictions and fortitude to declare enough is enough. I'm ready now to stand. Uh, whatever the issues of life may be, amen. Once you come to uh, conviction, once you are no longer willing to tolerate, uh, amen. Once you come to the knowledge that you are now ready to stand, amen, you will be able to stand up. And standing up for one's uh, oneself is codified in biblical law as self-defense. Amen. Moral law, civil laws, biblical law, all allow for you to protect yourself. Everyone should stand up and push back against bullies, against tyrants, against oppressors. Amen. And protect yourself at all times. Amen. That's the rule of the ring. Amen. Every boxer knows that. Amen. Protect yourself at all times. And no one will fault you for standing up for yourself. Amen. And when you can do that, amen, yes, by all means necessary, stand up for you. And then having done all you can do, stand anyhow. That's the, that's the biblical uh, requirements for putting on the whole arm of God. Having done all you can do, it says stand. And stand having yourself. And then it goes on to describe Amen, the, the whole armor. We have to stand strong. And yet in the inspirational message, it says one stands, uh, one shows greater strength when one stands up for others. That is the weak and, and the downtrodden, those uh, who are indigent or, or the least among us. When we're able to come in Amen. Having our own strength and help someone else. Amen. To get up. That is a greater degree. That defines a greater degree of strength. Amen. At the pool of Bethesda. Amen. With the impotent man, our Savior stood strong for the impotent man. Then Jesus empowered him to stand up strong for himself. At Calvary. Our beloved Savior stood strong for us, stood uh, strong upon an old rugged cross, amen, destroying sin and defeating Satan, doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. And now Jesus, our divine high priest, is enthroned in glory, hallelujah, standing strong for each of us. He, he is empowering each of us. He gave us the Holy Spirit, left the Holy Spirit here for us, amen, to abide in us. He has empowered each of us that whenever we are unable to stand, amen, for ourselves, we can tap in to the power of the Holy Ghost. And so today, if you have strength to stand up for yourself, give thanks to Jesus Christ. Now, 
Use your godly strength to stand up for others. For Christ's sake, stand strong. Ebenezer, we're in this thing together, and together we're going to get through it together. Amen. Together we're going to stand. For God I live, and for God I'm willing to die. Amen. We're reminded as, as on yesterday at, in the sermon. Amen. As for me and my house. Amen. I can see Joshua now. We're going to stand for the for Jehovah God uh, who's brought us out of bondage, out of Egypt. And we're going to continue to stand uh, all the days of our lives. God bless you, Ebenezer. Good to, uh, amen, to see some of you chiming in. Um, uh, share the message with somebody that you might think need a a, a, a little uplift that, that can stand up uh, and, and, and enjoy uh, being reminded of what the Lord has done for me, uh, done for all of us, and certainly what he's done for me. I'm glad. Um, may the Lord bless and keep you until next uh, we meet Ebenezer. Come on. You know the saying, keep on, keep on, keep on marching to Zion.